A semi-automatic test marries manual test with an automatic test, providing the user more input, but also making it automatic. So we'll click semi-automatic test, and this window will show up. And let's say, for instance, that we'd like to retake this point. We see that it's red, and that's likely because the flow is too low uh, for that range plate. So we'll choose the correct gauge, and we'll say we'd like to reach a target pressure of 10 pascals, and we want to put it into the first point. So if we update the fan, the fan will automatically begin to ramp up until it reaches a target pressure of approximately 10 pascals. It might take a little bit of time to get there because it's on range plate B and that's um, a low flow for that range. And once we're happy that it's in the correct range, we'll say collect data point. And then it'll start to collect a reading and put it into the data point or the location that we asked for it to be put into in the first point. See on the bottom it says target of 10 pascals has been attained and it has collected the data point. We think maybe 15 pascals is a better target pressure. It might reach it more easily and have a better point, a better way of getting a more accurate value. So we'll replace the 10 and make 15. And we can see the program likes this number a little bit better and it's replacing the 10 pascal target pressure now with 15 pascals. Now not only can we do this with building pressures and door fan pressures, we can also do this with bias pressures. So you can collect any number of bias pressures, building pressures, or final bias pressures with this method. So now let's select a final bias pressure, and we'll say we wanted to put it into point number three. So we don't have to update a fan because the fan should not be on for this. And we say collect data point and it'll immediately start to collect a data point, start to collect readings, put it into the third point. So now we've looked at three different methods of running a test in Fantastic. So finally we'll examine some of the Fantastic menus and some of the advanced settings.